The other thing you can do is you can go to small or medium sized businesses instead of the big, huge monolithic corporations. Go to smaller, you know, companies that are under 100 million in, in revenues. They are going to be much more open to what you have to say. The big companies, they, everyone has a vested interest in saying no to you. Right. So smaller companies have a bit have a more have more of an open mind. And exactly, again, uh, this is something that Circuit, I, we, we have thought long and hard about this, of course, as well, while, while writing or make, writing the concept, writing the handbook, doing, doing open space beta work. And we have, I think that we are, we are on this, we have the understanding that the more people, the merrier. If you can, and I like to explain this to my clients in this way. Imagine Germany after World War II, Germany just lost the war. You have like 60 million or however, how many Germans you have at that time, 1945 in Germany, they're all fascists, basically, experienced fascists, fascists or Nazis. And in come the Americans and the French and the British and say, we just turned this into a democracy. And guess what? It works. It works fine. You know, uh, <laughs> it worked. And it took just two or three years to establish the institutions. Of course, there was no miracle at all. New money, new institutions. Some people went had to go to prison and had to go to trial or go to Argentina and vanish and so on. Uh, you know, so transformation has its has its consequences, of course. But fundamentally, most of the Germans transformed from Nazis to Democrats in just a couple of years, and we are good enough to sustain it so far. So, I tell my clients, I like to tell our clients. Uh, I hope Silke, I think Silke knows the story. Yeah, uh, would you would you say, oh, let's just do democracy in Berlin and let the Bavarians remain fascist? Probably not. I we'd like to say everybody deserves beta, everybody deserves deserves organizational agility, everybody deserves lean. So do not exclude anyone. And with this amazing approach of time box change, regardless of size. You can do this for everyone. And ideally, Mr. Sponsor, Mrs. Sponsor, because you always need a sponsor to get this going. The sponsor is the one person uh, writing and voicing out the invitation. So we like to tell our sponsors, um, uh, be sure that you really, really want this. You, the sponsor, must really, really want beta. You must really, really want organizational democracy. You must really, really want agility. Otherwise, don't even start. So we like to stick the stance of saying, if you just want to do this for 10 people or 100 people, it's not even worth it. You cannot slice and dice democracy. Do it for the whole organization and uh, it will be fast. So okay, you want to add something or correct me? Yeah, no, I think I think what, what Dan mentioned goes a little bit in the direction. I think it's not possible to do this when you have a dominant political behavior in a company. Then it's impossible to do this kind of work because you get never a yes and i think this is something what you have mostly in very very big companies so this is something what we have to to address yes yes the reality of that some organizations are so political so so full of hypocrisy maybe uh, that it's 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 not easy to find a sponsor to get to the sponsor but uh, i think that's the work that we this probably leads us to the future right I think exactly. in the future we will we will have to learn how to find the sponsor even in corporations. And I'm convinced that it's totally feasible, but it's yeah. the work. Yeah.